hello friends so in this video i am going to show you how you can do vb.net database connectivity with mysql so first of all you can see i already opened this visual studio now i am going to do new project here we need to select this visual basic and windows desktop and you need to select this windows form app here you have to give location so i am going to give location means path where you want to save your project we be net connection now okay now we have to wait until we got one form yeah so you can see we got here form first of all we are going to do design then after we are going to create mysql database and then after we start database connection so first of all i am going to open this toolbox we need three label so here label 1 label 2 label 3 because we are going to take first name last name and city so we need three text boxes also so from here one text box this is the second text box and this is the third one yeah now here right click and property we are going to change label heading so here i am going to take first name here i am going to take last name oh we need space and here i am going to take city yeah we keep proper alignment yeah now i am going to select this three label because i want to increase font and then right click property then i am going to select this font and here you can set font size 10 yeah that's good little bit i am going to increase text box width yeah that's good okay now i am going to take five buttons so this is the one button this is the second button third one fourth one and fifth one and we need data read view also so here you can see this is the control data read view this is for displaying the record yeah now i am going to take this little bit down yeah that's good now we are going to change button heading so here i am going to change text save we are going to change the name button to to view for third search for fourth one update selected and yeah update selected is a bit stream so we need to increase the width and here i am going to give value delete selected yeah that is perfect now i am going to change the form background color so right click on form property and here you have to select you can see this bed color and i am going to select this active caption yeah so this is okay now you want to change color etc etc then you can do it now first of all when you are going to do connection with mysql you need to include one dll file you can see this is the dll file you can find this dll file path on video description so you can download from there then you have to unzip you can put anywhere like you can see i added this in desktop so you need this file then after in solution explorer right click here then add then reference and now you need to select the dll file from this browse and you can see desktop mysql data yeah we have this now and then okay this is compulsory you need to select this dll file otherwise we are not unable to do database connectivity yeah now you need to install this zem for mysql i already installed this zem 
after installing you need to start this two service from here this service is already start that's why we see a stop button now i am going to open that php my admin local host php my admin this is our local mysql from your databases i am going to create new database vbnet yeah create now here i am going to type table one and we need four field so four then go here i am going to type id integer length is five here primary key auto increment now i am going to take your first name where here hundred last name where here hundred now i am going to take city then where here and i am going to take hundred now i am going to save so you can see now we have this table one with this four column so now i am going to do this double click on form so here we are getting form load event now first of all we need to import here our library which we already included so imports here we need to write mysql dot data dot mysql client if you did not edit this reference then you will not get this here so this is compulsory yeah now here we are going to declare variable d c o n s new mysql connection then d c m d a s new mysql command yeah that's fine and we need one variable also so d m i d s integer now in form load we need to give our localhost path here connection string so i am going to write here c o n dot connection string is equal to here we are going to write server is equal to localhost then we need to give our database name our database name is vbnet and then after we need to give user id our user id is root this is the default username and now we need to give password and password is blank now we are going to give your condition if cun dot state is equal to connection state dot open then connection close otherwise we are going to open connection after doing these things first we are going to run and we are going to check there is some error or not if we did any mistake in connection then we will get error yeah you can see form is loaded so in connection there is no error so now we are going to do here display data function so when we are going to load the form we are going to fetch data from our database so here this is the function public sub and we are going to do here our function name display data yeah so now here we need to write cmd is equal to condition dot create command we are going to create this function because after inserting after updating after deleting we need to display data again so we don't need to write this code again again directly we need to call this function that's why now here cmd dot command type is equal to command type dot text then cmd dot command text is equal to here we are going to write select query so select star from table one then after we are going to write cmd dot execute non query then dim dt as new data table now dim da as mysql data adapter and here we need to pass cmd then da dot fill dt now 
data 3 db1 dot data source is equal to we need to pass here dt yeah we are getting here problem in cmd so we are going to check what is the problem in cmd here we need to do f capital here cmd yeah here i forgot to do new yeah that's fine now i am going to run this before that we are going to call here function display data but right now we don't have any record so we are not getting anything on our data review but we are not getting any error so this is fine so now we are going to start coding off our save record so here i am going to write code for our save data so again cmd is equal to connection dot create command then the same thing so i am going to copy this and paste here now here we are going to write our insert query insert into table one values we have first parameter is auto increment so we are going to pass here null then single quotes inside double quotes now we need to pass plus plus sign and now we need to pass here text box one dot text here text box two dot text and here we are going to write text box three dot text yeah perfect now after inserting we are going to clean our text box so text box one dot text is equal to empty sorry yeah empty copy paste paste we need to change our name two and here three yeah that's fine now here we are going to call our function display data and then after we are going to write message bots Mess message bots dot show and here we are going to display record saved successfully yeah now we are going to check this is working proper or not yeah i fill detail and then save you can see i got this message and here we are got getting this our record so this way we can save data now we are going to perform operation of display this is very easy for this view only we need to call function that's all so display is done then we are going to perform the search operation this is also very easy just you need to copy this code for this display data code just paste here and only you need to write here where first name is equal to you need to pass here text box one dot text now we are going to check we got proper or not so i am going to enter one new record save now i am going to search my name and search you can see i got my name record this is very simple so you can see we completed save button task view button task and search task now we are going to perform update selected but before that we need to perform like this when i click on this here we need to fill this data inside here we need to fill this data and then after we will update so for that right click on this data grid view property then scroll down and here you can see one property it is known as selected mode and you need to select here full row select yeah then right click here property and here this is for event and you need to take this cell click event so here you can see we have this cell click event and here first of all we need to take id when we are going to click on data grid view we need to take id and upon that id we are going to fill data on text boxes 
so here i need to write data 3db1 dot selected cells dot item 0 because we are going to take first column value that's why then value then dot to string now we need to convert in integer so i am going to write here convert dot to int 32 yeah so we have this now now we are going to write here query so before that i am going to copy this because we need this similar code same code so i just paste here now here i need to take dim dras mysql data reader we need to take this then dr is equal to we need to take cmd dot execute reader and here i need to do command behavior dot close connection now we are going to fill data in text boxes yeah so here we need to write while dr dot read and here we need to write text box one dot text is equal to dr dot get string here one dot two string we take here one because you can see we have four column id first name last name and city but we are not going to take id id is our first column so it is known as one kind of zero column first name is first column so now copy paste here i am going to take two here i am going to take three and here also two and here also three i am going to show you here you can see our record is saved already this is the zeroth column this is the first column this is the second column and this is the third column yeah so now we are going to check you can see i am going to click on this oh we are getting error yeah 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 here we need to check where id is equal to end person id yeah you can see when i click on any record what happened oh connection is already open so we need to give here condition so we are going to copy this condition and i am going to paste here yeah now we are going to check again you can see we got these records now now i am going to change here anything and click on this update button we need to update this record so now we are going to write code for update so i am going to double click on this update and here we are going to write here also we are going to copy this condition so i am going to copy and paste here now we are going to write try and catch yeah so now we need to write here all the code inside this try so here also we are going to copy this code I am going to paste here and now we are going to fire here update query so here update table one set first name is equal to comma last name is equal to and city is equal to yeah now here we need to pass our text box value so double quotes plus plus sign here also double quotes plus plus sign double quotes plus oh sorry plus plus sign yeah so now here we are going to write text box one dot text text box two dot text and here text box three dot text 
so here you can see this is the complete line here and now here I am going to call display data function here also we need to clean our text box so text box one dot text copy paste paste two and here three yeah now I am going to run I am going to select here now I am going to change my city and update selected you can see my city is changed here now I click here now I am going to change city you can see city is changed now if I, if I want to change here my surname then also you can see so this is working perfect so this way we need to perform delete operation for delete selected so here also delete selected here we need to copy this update button same code so I am going to copy this code we are going to paste here and only we need to change here is I am going to delete up to here now delete from table 1 where id is equal to id we need to write only these things now again I am going to run this you can see I am going to select this and delete selected you can see record is deleted so if you delete record from here it will definitely affect it here because it delete here and then going to select so you can see this way you can perform mysql operation using vb.net this is very simple you can see if you know this then you can make easily simple project by yourself thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it maximum thank you so much again